at the same time, the, you know, the society and political process also shapes the state. <laughs> I have sent you uh, one piece on theory of state. I hope you have received that piece. Or वहीं से पढ़ना है. Yeah. So what I have sent you theory of state, uh, you know, literature that you have to study from there. It's a very precise, very concise, precise, and very brief information about different perspective of state. And it will help you in understanding, you know, the idea of the state itself. What a state, it, you know, what a state uh, means, right? Why, how state is different from society? How we should, uh, you know, study state? Why we obey state? How state has come into being? It means what has the origin of state in this so if you look at the present unit that we will talk about it is all about state that we need to learn right so september 8 2023 hmm? and g20 meeting is going on Read newspaper. I hope you have gone through yesterday newspaper. One piece was written by our Prime Minister, no, and Modi, and this piece was excellent. Piece appeared in both the Hindu and as well as in the Indian Express. So I hope you are going through the newspaper. That's very important. Now today we will talk about. state right what do you know about a state anything that you know about a state what do you know about a state Population, territory, government, and sovereignty. Highest organization have definite boundary, territory, population, government, sovereignty. Right. So, a state has certain characteristics, right? A state has certain characteristics, as you know, some of you have pointed out, right? Any state or modern state must have few basic elements, right? For example, uh, any state which must have population, territory, government, and sovereignty. Sovereignty means supreme power. Right? These are the now some of you have said that it is a and uh, it is a highest organization. Right? As you know Plato or Aristotle talked about, it is an association of associations. Right? It is the highest organization. So an organization you can say that, right? Which is highest in nature. An organization, is anything about a state you know? Have you ever encountered a state? Anyone? Have you ever encountered a state? No? Acha. 
than what you have encountered it is a virtual concept it is an abstract concept yes savinder you are very right state is abstract concept and generally it is a government which represents the state right it is a yeah we encounter government government officials right and you know that you know like bureaucracy police municipal corporation land revenue officer right marriage certification office right panchayati raj panchayat bhavan and so and so forth they all are government based sometimes central government sometimes you know state government sometimes local government but we encounter government we that we did we do not encounter state right of you know gov- government represent the state that is one thing we clear we every day our life is encountered by the government officials for example when we drive our car we see that there is traffic police right for example when a baby take birth in our household we go to the municipal office to take the birth certificate right when we marry right we for the registry of the marriage we go to the marriage office right for example what happens there is a, when there is a divorce hmm? where do we go when we proceed for divorce anyone where do we go when we proceed for divorce bolo sir marriage hua nahi divorce tak pahunch gaye aap hame kya pata divorce kahan hota hai hmm hum to shaadi ka pata chal laga rahe court very good very good court is a place where we approach for divorce so basically if you look at even the private affair like marriage birth divorce abortion look at abortion right religious worship even our movement is controlled by government nahi for example g20 summit is going to be held or already being held in delhi on 8th 9th and 10th september now delhi government has issued a notification and it has actually divided delhi in a controlled zone in certain part of delhi you know there are severe, severe restrictions and other part of delhi there are regulated restrictions so look at how state control our life on everyday basis right for example any festivals even government regulate festivals you know 15th august you must have seen 15th august in northern india what happens in 15th august people fly kite you know kite right patang udate hain 15 august ko now 15 august ko hum jab patang udate hain to in delhi people used to use chinese you know thread chinese manja government has prohibited it government has banned it right so look at how even festivals is regulated by the government right whenever there is a conflict a state enter into that whenever there is a conflict a state enter into that and it maintain law and order right now if you look at the parliament issues many law even to regulate family like we have hindu marriage act or domestic violence act now hindu marriage act and domestic violence act right or triple talaq act how this you know law regulates private affair right you all know you know feminist slogan radical feminist slogan personal is political so wherever there is a political there is a state hmm shivinder 
सो यू कैन सी दैट स्टेट इज ओनली प्रेजेंट है ना स्टेट इज ओमनी प्रेजेंट इन आवर लाइफ वो गालिब का शेर सुना है मस्जिद में बैठ के पीने दे गालिब या वो जगह बता जहां खुदा नहीं शेर सुनते हो तुम लोग ओमनी प्रेजेंट मीन्स क्या मस्जिद में बैठ के शराब पीने दे गालिब या वो जगह बता उस शेर मीन शेर सुनो या शेर शायरी मस्जिद में बैठ के पीने देगा ले भी वो जगह बता जहां खुदा नहीं एवरीवेयर इधर इज यू नो द खुदा इज एवरीवेयर जहां बैठ के पी लो मस्जिद में भी बैठ के पी लोगे तो मस्जिद ऐसे गंदा नहीं हो जाएगा पीपल बिलीव दैट राइट प्योरिटी एंड इम्प्योरिटी एनी वे टेक इज ओमली प्रजेंट नाउ इफ यू लुक एट If you look at the state, it influences our relations. It influences society, right? It shapes political and social processes. It shapes legal processes. At the same time, the you know the society and political process also shapes the state, isn't it? the state also you know shapes political social legal economic processes but at the same time influenced by it so it influences the entire process in our society and you know it is it being influenced by them and if you look at there are one scholar his name is garner who argued that politics begins with the state and politics and the arts and state so if you can see that you know how a state is a very much central in political philosophy very much you know very much central in the political philosophy even if you look at plato plato begins with the idea of state right he did not like the existing democratic state and he wanted an ideal state an ideal state ruled by philosopher king on the basis of justice where every person should be educated as plato has provided educational schemes right so state was a center of attraction for philosopher many philosopher has studied this thing right and in the due course of time state has multiple many multiple many right there are different way of interpreting state i'm making sense to you any query any question if you have you can raise it clear yeah now if you look at we have already done western political philosophy we have studied you know many philosopher like we have studied socrates plato aristotle we have studied machiavelli we have studied you know hobbes locke rousseau j.s. mill karl marx right hannah arendt gramsci and if you you know, observe the state was a central concern in philosophy of its theorist right and if you look at state has multiple meaning so you know priorly if you look at state when i you know taught you introductory class i told you that the state has evolved in a due course of time right it has different manifestation it has different manifestation for example you know there was a city state there was a city state in ancient time then there we have empire right we have empire and then we have nation state a 
nascent state is a modern form of state. I hope you are aware about this formation of state, how city-state was there in the ancient time. Even in India, there was a small, small city-state like Mahajan Pada. Right? It was not a big state. But in later phase, if you look at the Alexander, right, uh, in of Macedonia, or Ashoka, a Mauryan Empire in India, they had established big empire, right? And that empire, actually, that empire, you know, succeeded succeeded one by another. And till 15th century, you can see in India there is a Mughal Empire. In the middle, there was a Ottoman Empire, in Europe there was the Habsburg Empire, Bourbon Empire. So it was an empire age. It was an empire age. And if you look at that, um, when this empire broke out, then new form of nation state evolved. New form of nation state evolved. And the early nation state was, you know, UK, France, Holland, isn't it? And India was that time colony. As a nation state, India evolved in the very much 19th century. Right? And if you look at this was evolution of state. Right? Now, this is evolution of state. Now, still we have not defined the state. We have not defined the state. Just we have talked about how a state was, you know, um, evolved. Right? So if you look at state, how we can define it? Right? So you have talked about state has certain essential features like population, territory, government, and sovereignty. And it is an organization. Right? It is an organization of several organizations. Several organizations. Right? For example, many organizations like Parliament. Parliament is an organization. Like Election Commission. Election Commission is an organization. Like Police. Like Judiciary. Like judiciary, like you know, you can say that uh, state assembly or yeah, military bureaucracy, bureaucracy, right? So, a state is an organization of, of several organizations. What are several organizations? Parliament. You know, election commission, police, judiciary, military, bureaucracy. This is the first definition of state. Right? And if you look at Article 12 of the Indian Constitution, which also defines the state. Article 12 of Indian Constitution. And what is state according to the Article 12 of the Indian Constitution? What is a state according to Article 12 of the Indian Constitution? No information. I hope you have must have information of it. Yeah. Very good, very good, very good. So, Article 12 consists Central Government, Central Government and the Parliament. So, all institutions are of the Central Government consist State. Then, State Government, right, and the Legislature. Right, a state assembly, a state 
legislature right and then local government local government and you know any other authority any other authority right like you know any uh, ecu can be called a state tell me any psu name any psu public sector unit if you know ongc very good ongc sale gel yeah gel sale all are state so if you look at you know a state is an organization of several organization or we can define a state is a collection of several organizations this is a first definition of state right so if you look at you know hedas cock paul there was one scholar hedas cock paul who viewed that you know a state may be an organization through which all official collectivities may pursue different goals realizing realizing them more effectively right so basically a state is a actor right and it is a institutional structures right which has certain you know effectiveness in politics so first definition of state is you know it is an organization of multiple organization or it is a collection of several organization that is the first way we can define state but there are another definition we will come to that but did you get the idea the first definition of state a state is a collection of institution i have given you already a uh, notes it is 24 pages let me tell you in 3 4 days you have to read at least each day you should read thrice or four panch bar to padhna chahiye aapko navinder anupama janis everyone are you getting my point each day you should study these notes five times try to read it try to decode the language which i have written you very precise i have given you right 24 pages mein maine pure state ko bata diya hai right different perspective of state right new concept of state like deep state has evolved the idea of deep state has actually recent idea it developed in a few years right which i have also also included in the notes now so next how we can define a state a state is not only you know collection of institutions what if you know what happens when there is a red light when you drive the car and you see the red light what do you do you stop the car yeah for example uh, you know shavinder can you do three marriages can you do marriage thrice without any divorce yes sir how without divorce if all wife does <laughs> no no i'm not considering death of anyone i'm considering all are alive you know all are alive and healthy there is no issue at all no sir only one marriage is legal yeah yeah exactly why because you follow the law you follow the law right so what happens you know we follow law yeah we follow law right or someone have been if you look at the personal law or uh, in islam it allow it allow polygamy but hindu marriage act that does not allow polygamy that's fine my my submission is here my submission is 
we follow the law. We follow the law. Right? For example, marriage law, traffic law, right? Indian Panel Code or CRPC or, you know, constitutions, right? Or tax law, right? So if you look at even the rules and regulations formed by state also represent the state. My submission is here. So all rules, regulation and you know, the business of the government also represent the state. The state is not merely a collection of institutions, but also the rules, regulations, law set up by the state. And that we abide by that, we follow that. That is also, you know, state. Parliament is not only state. All law that we follow that is also a state. Also represent the state. Right? So, second definition is, you know, you know a state is represented also by the rules, regulations, rules, regulations, order, order, and order, law, and business of the law. business of the so state is not only represented by the government but also the law formed by the government sir it's not unfair that we have only one, only you have one marriage succession act only for the hindu religion uh, we'll talk about in indian politics uniform civil code what happened you know what was the polygamy how it was prevalent, what happened, the entire story. Genesis. So, I'll escape your question and we'll focus on definition of state. Okay? Now, a state is not only being represented by government, a state is also represented by rules, regulations, order, law, and business of the government. Right? For example, the traffic rules. traffic rules right or Indian panel code Indian panel code abhi to badal jayega bharatiya nyay samhita right or CRPC CRPC or you know uh, civil law civil law means law related to abortion law related to marriage law related to you know or our everyday life right so and tax law right see all represent the state if we violate a state may you know the government may punish you so basically it's not government represents law but represent the government but these rules are also government a state basically Right? Making sense? Now, third, how a state can be defined. I told you and you have already argued that a state is a abstract concept. Right? We are unable to see the state. The state is being represented by the law, the order, or the government. And we don't see the state. The state is an abstract idea. What does it mean? It means, yeah, we imagine something state. Like a state is, what is the difference between a state and government? What is the basic difference between a state and government? Anyone?
सविंदर को कोई जवाब दो सविंदर ने क्वेश्चन पूछा अनुपमा अनुपमा जस्ट रिप्लाई टू सविंदर गवर्नमेंट इज ए मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ स्टेट परफॉर्म फंक्शन ऑफ द स्टेट वेरी गुड गवर्नमेंट इज अ मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ स्टेट एंड इट परफॉर्म फंक्शन ऑफ स्टेट it performs functions of the state right what about state yeah a state is a supreme and permanent whereas government is not permanent very good very good government is changeable you know it's not permanent it is not permanent government changes right a state is a permanent it is a something permanent right it does not change right state holds sovereignty but government does not very good right it has sovereignty this government is a part of the state the state is a big idea right it is a abstract idea hey right? a state is a abstract idea and how this idea was formed that you know a defined territory a human economy you know defined territory right and most suitable definition by the max weber and what he defined state a human community that claims the monopoly of the legitimate use of physical force within a given territory right it means there is a different territory there is a population and there is a government which holds legitimacy on monopoly of violence right this is something imaginative definition right uh shavinder has asked that what sevinder you are asking you have asked your long sir why you show a woman standing with sword with piece of cloth in her eyes in your psi book volume 1 what is the she indicated with sword it's not sword is it sword it's something law and order she is she represents the statue of liberty it is simply the statue of liberty yeah yeah and that is not sword she is with she is with a something which symbolizes law and order wo sword nahi hai agar aapko dikhta hai to jinhone that's i have not done you know the the kya naam hai uske liye alag hai jo banata hai na graphics डिजाइनर वो करता है उसने कुछ ऐसा बना दिया होगा तो दैट्स यस दिस दैट्स नॉट सोल ओके आई विल चेक आई विल चेक आई विल चेक डेफिनेटली आई विल चेक राइट सो इफ यू लुक एट स्टेट स्टेट इज एन एब्स्ट्रैक्ट आईडी स्टेट इज एन एब्स्ट्रैक्ट idea what does it mean we can't see a state we can't see a state a state is being represented by government law right a state cannot be seen and if you look at how state has been defined a state has been defined by you know uh by a many scholar as state is a you know human community that claims monopoly of the legitimate use of physical force within a given territory right that is a max weber definition so for example india is a state right so india is a state and it has right india is a state and it has legitimacy to use physical force within its own territory no other country can enter 
only state has the legitimacy to use physical force no other organization can you tell me any other organization who has legitimacy to exercise violence within territory except a state anyone either naxal or pff or no one nato is not a state nato is a alliance you know nato is a security alliance it is not a state it is a international security alliance right security security pact alliance society has no legitimacy to do violence shavinder right otherwise they will be punished by the law but did violence without approval of the state who nato or oh, they violate the international law anupama they violate international law right if you look at you know a many state does not respect international law society do violence in the name of religion and custom they are not allowed to do if any you know uh, organization or individual do violence it's a it's a crime and they must be punished according to the law right so a state has only legitimacy to do violence right so a state is an abstract idea what does it mean you know we we cannot see a state we cannot see a state right right and it is defined but and it is imagined right and defined how it is defined a human community that claims the monopoly of legitimate use of physical force within the territory of within the given territory that is a state and it is definition given by the max weber a renowned sociologist right now if you look at the weber definitions you know uh, there are many you know um, state has sovereignty state has you know monopoly over the violence and if you look at the one conference it's called montevideo conference convention on rights and duty in 1933 it is a very much international conference montevideo convention on rights and duty and this international conventions agreed that the state must have four essential elements right if you look at montevideo conference Montevideo Conventions on Rights and Duties Duties that convention happens in 1933 and it said that the state has four basic element that we have you know initially taken up right the population territory government and sovereignty these are the four characteristics of any state right for example if you look at east pakistan it had population it had territory it had government but it had no sovereignty So when sovereignty acquired by East Pakistan, it became Bangladesh. It became an independent state, and it and you know it was applied to many many countries. If you look at 1951, right when the United Nations came up, right when the United Nations came up, there was only 51 states worldwide. You know, only 51 states had these characteristics. Now, if you look at in 2023, this is was 1951. If you look at 
the last you know 75 70 780 years now how many states are in the united nations how many states are there in the united nations 193 very good there are 193 states in the united nations they are 193 members who are the latest member which country is the latest member of the united nations south sudan very good south sudan right south sudan has become member of uh, united nations in 2013 and thereafter there is no new nation right so if you look at that is you know the way of defining a state now the fourth criteria there is an again definition a state is a territorial unit sometimes we say that india is a state or us is a state or pakistan is a state poland is a state latvia is a state right so state formation has been already there if you look at the collapse of the ussr that led to the formation of 15 states right so a state is a territorial unit a state is a territorial unit ek ek territorial unit ko hum state keh dete hain jaise mexico mexico is a state Huh? Like US, US is a state. So a state is a territorial unit. Example, Mexico, India, right? Poland, right? Ukraine, Russia, right? So these are state. And if you look at the number of states, as we have already discussed, there are 193 states in the United Nations. Right? So this is, you know, now one more concept given by the Karl Polanyi. Right? We'll come to the Karl Polanyi. Ek or baat ke lete. A state is different from society or different from private. A state is something like public. If you look at a state institution, a state institutions are recognized as public, public institution. Like parliament, parliament is a public institution, it is a state, right? which is different from private which is you know different from right which is different from private institution private institutions right private institutions are not a state but public institutions are right so public institutions are state, they are state, but they are not, private institutions are not a state, they are private basically, they are from individually owned private institutions, right, so if you look at public institutions is owned commonly, but private institutions are not a state. Right? Like, you know, uh, even, you know, like private institutions like uh, Plutus IS. Plutus IS is not a state. Right? Plutus IS is not a state, but public institution like bureaucracy. Or like police. Like parliament. Huh? Parliament. Like CAG like election commission, like finance commission, is all our public institutions, right? And this all our state. Making sense? 
to you everyone online students yes clear pakka okay. any doubt no very good now so state is something which is recognized as a public rather than private it is a different from it is very contrast from the private now one more is you know there are multiple way called state society relation now sometimes what happens sometimes what happens right we think that a state is a separate from society and often we think that you know a state is a separate entity or you know some state society relationship it's a society relationship now to look at is a state different from society many scholar will say yes a state is a different from society what do you think is a state different from society it is a part of society how a state is a different from society i agree you know let me disagree with you i may say that a state is different from society a state is a regulator and a state regulates society too a state is a regulator and it regulates society too isn't it a state is an institution but society is not a mere institution it's a you know it arena is very large society comes together to form a state now each state has military army right like military does society has military type of right in reality state institutions are made of individual who are part of society that's correct that's correct now you know so if you look at state is a, is a collection of institution whose members are from society it's very good whose member are from society itself so basically there is one scholar his name is karl polani his name is karl polani and he argued that you know we should not take a state as a separate from society we should not consider you know a state as a separate entity from society right the state is very much embedded into the society what does it mean he says a state is no, nothing but is a reflection of society what does it mean it means if a state would be the patriarchal state if society would be patriarchal if society there is a patriarchy in the state there will be patriarchy in the state if a state is a communal if society is a communal state would be the communal if society would be casteist a state would be casteist if society would be liberal state would be the liberal so we should not consider a state as a separate entity but state is a reflection of the society right this definition was given by karl polani right so state and state is not a separate ent- entity
टेक इज नॉट अ सेपरेट एंटिटी बट एंटिटी फ्रॉम द सोसाइटी बट वेरी मच इन एम्बेडेड इन टू सोसाइटी embedded into society now what does it mean it means you know state is a mere reflection of the society right and still you know this is a limited definition this definition may continue there is open interpretations right a state has more meaning and it is essentially a contested concept there is no agreement among a scholar right what exactly state does mean right it state means different from for the different philosopher right and that's why if you look at since greek philosopher to the modern one everyone you know focus on the study of state right as gardner has pointed out politics begins with the state and and that is state right so that is i think i hope you have uh, studied have you you know you have you know understood the basic concept of state clear hai itna state ka matlab kya hai hmm clear now what is the origin of state right now we will discuss what is the origin of state how state came to be how a state came to be kaise aaya batao anyone again there are different different idea right different idea for example we have organic theory of state organic theory now what does it believe the state is evolved in a due course of time right it is a evolved in due course of uh, time and it has taken a lot of time in evolution right for example if you look at plato aristotle hegel all believe that plato you know that state has it has evolved it is an evolved institution and since it is evolved institutions and that's why a state is a prior institutions right what do you mean by a state is prior to individual what does it mean it says that you know a state is prior to individual what do you mean by it that relevance of individual is as long as the relevance of the state right iska kya matlab hai a state is prior to of individual it means the individual is a part of a state like we have a mango tree we have a mango tree right so whether mango is prior or a state is prior we have already talked about in Aristotle Aristotle argues mango is prior than the entire tree right if you look at hegel hegel says yeah that state is a march of god on the earth right so in the state is prior to the individual it means a state is a whole and 
individually the part right what do you mean see like organic the whole individual is a part and the part has existence or relevance as long as the whole is for example my hand has relevance as long as it is attached to my body my whole agar main is hath ko koi kaat ke phek de ya hata de us hath ka koi matlab nahi hoga that part will not have relevance my hand has relevance as long as it is attached to my the entire body right so if you look at you know the part has existence as long as the whole has existence i'm making sense to you that how and if this part is very much attached to the whole individual is very much attached to the state right so they talked about in state is a prior to individual third they talked about that a state is a moral institutions right what do you mean by moral institutions you know a state is a source of virtue look at you know plato aristotle hegel talks about universal altruism a state is a universal altruism a state do good for everyone a state does not discriminate so if you look at what they, they say a state is a moral institution a moral institution what do you mean by it it is a moral means right institution a very correct institutions it is a source of virtue a state is a source of virtue right a state teaches you lots of things a state gives you lots of things am i able to convey you the masses the organic theory of state what organic theory believe that a state is a evolved institution and which is prior to individual right and a state is a very much a you no know, kind of a tree where individual is like a mango mango in the tree and that's why if you look at mango tree is prior than the mango similarly the entire whole is very much prior to the part and the part has existence as long as the whole is healthy थोड़ा अंतर है शविंदर थोड़ा मिलाना आगे से पीछे तक द टेक्स्ट आई हैव गिवन यू दैट इज सेम दैट बुक प्रोवाइडेड बाय बोथ आर रिटन बाय मी यू नो द टेक्स्ट व्हिच आई हैव सेंट यू यस्टरडे हैज सम एडिशन राइट बदल तो नहीं दूंगा मैं सारा है ना स्टेट है तो स्टेट के बारे में बात होगी वो भी है तो दिस इज फर्स्ट यू नो theory for the evolution of state how a state has evolved you know what is the origin of state what is the origin of state it is a self evolved institution it is a self evolved institution hai na yaad hai aristotle ka ki family aayi family ke baad gaon bana gaon ke baad polis ban do you remember na family then village and then police look at similarly hegel hegel talks about family right civil society village oh sorry state hmm so this is first you know a theory which talked about now later on if you look at another theory evolved it called divine right theory divine right theory ab ye kya believe karte hai ye log tell me what divine right theory is believe who made the state how state has come into being 
as per the divine right theorist Kavinder God very good divine right theorist say that the state you know is created by God state is created by God right so even if you look at in Indian philosophy like Manu or Kautilya has similar view in medieval time in Europe you know Christianity believed that the state is created by God so this is second theory how state has come into being third you know if you look at social contract theory social contract theory what social contract theory be- theory believes how state came into being tell me respond me as soon as you respond me it will be easier for me to communicate with you a social contract very good ye yes, social contract hai state is a state is product of of social contract among individual among individuals so a state is not something uh, you know organic natural a state is not something god god created by god a state is a man made project hai na a state is a man made project a state is a machine like insaan machine banata hai waise state insaan ne state banaya apne fayde ke liye right so if you look at for them a state is an artificial you know a state is created artificially is create created by man right so a state is an artificial institution artificial machine it is a artificial machine it is artificial machine right so if you look at you know social contract theorists who are the social contract theorists who believe like this tell me who are the social contract theorists who believe that the state is a product of a social contract hobbs law crusoe very good hobbs law crusoe we have already gone through then it is becoming ab dekho isliye pehle 10wa padha dete unit number 10 i discuss much earlier and then we take it because now this is social contract theory now there is another theory called force theory of state force theory of state ab ye kya kehta hai ki bhai state kaise bana ek indian theory bhi hai aur ek western theory bhi hai western theory charles tilly rehte hain charles tilly who argue that you know a state modern state is a very much coercive institution you know it has force right it can control population right it can wage war right it can it can you know uh, implement the law taxation law it can administer a certain territory right and it is a product of the force am i making sense to you you know a state has formed because it has ability to exercise force it has ability to exercise war you know launch war to annex another country now similarly in indian philosophy there is a belief that the state was formed because it wanted to maintain a law and order it has something so do we have to discuss origin of state in some depth dekho main bata raha hu 
पूछे तो ठीक है नहीं तो आपके आइडिया के लिए तो अच्छा है ना यू आर रीडिंग पोलिटिकल साइंस है ना सो यू शुड नो वट इज रॉन्ग इन नोइंग is it it what's wrong in in knowledge getting knowledge knowledge is a virtue hmm you remember socrates he used to say that i'm the wisest of the wise i know only one thing that i know nothing right Uh, yes and everybody has ability to acquire knowledge that was uh, socrates right so thoda sa pata hona chahiye which of these theories are is factually correct mm. or these all are assumptions and uh, you know i may fall in one category none of these are you can can say correct these all are assumptions anupama this all theories are assumptions and you one you may believe in one or two or you may say that it is contested in social science there is no some something called correct or wrong theek hai hmm there are you know so fourth theory of state actually explains that modern state has evolved because it has ability to coerce right modern state has evolved as it has ability to use force to maintain law and order you know levy taxes was war and administer territory administer territory so basically it's look at now charles tilly had given a very much famous uh, statement of charles tilly is that war made the state and state made the war even if you look at a war a different state comes into being india pakistan war bangladesh there's a war between sudan and north sudan south sudan south sudan right there's a first world war many states second world war many states so if you look at charles tilly has put up put up that war made the state and state made the war right so who provided this theory charles tilly charles tilly who talked about a different concept of state now in india indian philosopher have also argued the very long back that a state has ability to maintain law and order right so this for this order a state is necessary a state has danda yeah you remember indian philosophy that i have taught you right a state use danda to maintain dharma right so because a state has this ability there is a state right now ab itne theory pad li ek aur theory pad lete what marx talks about marx understanding of the origin of state what marx thinks that why state evolved tell me anyone you have already gone through marx think about it i'll take 5 minutes 
I'll start your uh, class, resume your class to in five minutes and then think about it. First think and then you reply me. Am I audible? Yeah. Am I audible? So, if you look at the Marxist understanding of origin of state, how state came into being? What was the reason behind it? Manage bourgeoisie to exploit the masses and to favor bourgeoisie. No, 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 no. Emergence of private property, very good, very good. The private property, the property is very much, you know, very much important. So private property was a reason for emergence of class, emergence of state, emergence of inequality, right? So private property is a region for the origin of a state. And if you look at the modern state that we are witnessing, modern state is actually came into being from transition, from feudalism to capitalism. So if you look at Feudalism to capitalism, right? There is a feudalism to capitalism. There was a transition. So in this process, there is a modern state was formed. If you look at the modern state, modern state was formed in transition from the feudalism to capitalism. During feudalism, a state has different formation. Like empire age, you can talk about. Right? So, if you look at during the state was different. Right? If you look at before the state was different. And when first time a state came into being, a state came into being for when there was a private property involved. Before that, there was a primitive communism. Primitive communism. What is primitive communism? When the private pro there was no concept of private property. When there was no concept of private property, it means there was no class. Right? Because there was no private property, it was a most equal society. It was, you can say that, hunting and gathering a stage of history. He called the primitive communism. In due course of time, private property was evolve right someone encircled land and then you can see that there is a formation of state one become master another become slave and that continued till the capitalism that continued till the capitalism so when there's one formation of you know few economic structure change the another form the state also changed now a state also changed and if you look at modern state that we are witnessing it is a product of transformation from feudalism to capitalism it is a product of economic change basically am i making sense of marxist understanding of state how what is why origin of state yeah am i making sense to you everyone Right? So look at the you know formation of a state. There are different theories of evolution of a state, why a state came into being, what is the origin of a state, right? So that we have talked about. Now if you look at you know the philosopher of different states, there are many philosophers who define the state in many ways. For example, Plato has talked about what is a state for Plato? For Plato, a state is a, in the, an individual writ large. Right? For example, Aristotle talks about, yeah, state is a natural institution and it is a prior, a prior to man. It is a highest institution for the good, good life. Look at Hobbes. What is a state for Hobbes? 
a state is something called supreme authority right it is a product of a social contract leviathan is a state for hobbes so we have already talked about plato log hobbes js mill right hegel karl marx max weber right so there are the theory of state hmm? now i'll talk about different understanding of state ye to origin ho gaya ab different understanding hai state ka right ab theory pe state ab hum hai hum theory pe state pe abhi tak to hum kya baat kar rahe the state kya hai aur uska udbhav kaise hua until we talked about what is a state and how a state came into being what is the origin of state how state evolved and there are different philosopher who interpreted the emergence of state due to different region right so you can also speak in hindi yeah i can speak right i i can be bilingual but you know anupma has suggested me in very initial days that sir be you know priorly english yeah yeah to main hindi bhi bolta hu right uh, hindi bhi achhi nahi hai meri na angreji achhi hai na hindi achhi hai but ha kaam chala leta hu apna kaam nikal jata hai i don't know hindi how is it possible but i can understand ha wahi 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 mera bhi hai wahi hai mujhe bhi hindi nahi aati hai mujhe bhi kam aati hai angreji bhi kam aati hai zyada nahi aati utna aati hai ki apna kaam chal jata hai right i'm not a specialist on language hmm ज्यादा पीपल स्पीक पहाड़ी और उर्दू ये ये इंजन के पीपल स्पीक उर्दू राइट एंड देर इज यू नो लोकल लैंग्वेज कॉल पहाड़ी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज डिफरेंट नोट्स बेसिकली डिफरेंट नोट्स लैंग्वेज वर्ड सेम होता है बस उसी वर्ड को अलग तरीके से कहते हैं इज इन टेट उसी वर्ड को अलग तरीके से हुँ? उसको प्रोनाउंस करते हैं उसको कहते हैं दैट इज यू नो इवन इफ यू लुक इफ यू गो टू यू नो लाइक तेलुगु देर आर मेनी लैंग्वेज मेनी वर्ड व्हिच इज यूज इन हिंदी ऑफ तेलुगु यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड अ सिंगल वर्ड ऑफ हिंदी हाउ हाउ इट कम अनुपमा हैव यू नॉट एवर स्टडीड हिंदी इन योर स्कूल you don't hear hindi hindi song the beautiful song i love only hindi song matlab hindi song to mujhe bahut achhi lagti hai really till seventh standard i struggled yeah yeah you must uh, know little bit thoda thoda to pata pata hoga thoda thoda hmm might be hearing english song english telugu kannar hmm i speak tamil telugu and english but hindi i never learned a oh, fine but i think there is no avoidance against hindi or is it you don't like hindi acha yes yes so yeah. i i i hear telugu telugu song sometime sometime tamil song but okay sometime of course fine no issue at all no issue at all yahan par sikho class mein class mein sikho sikho means learn in the class hmm and gradually you will learn right learning is a process it takes time तो हा या 
let me talk about different theory so look at we will talk about different theory of state here right like we have idealist perspective what is state then we have you know functionalist perspective of state functionalist perspective of state and then there is a called right then we called monistic theory of state monist perspective then there is a called you know pluralist perspective pluralist perspective of state then there is a liberal perspective right within liberal there are three variant the classical liberal the classical perspective modern perspective and then libertarianism libertarian right or new liberal perspective and again social liberal perspective which is updated version of modern liberals social liberal perspective so here here you can see that within liberal understanding there are four understanding of state classical liberal of state modern neo and social similarly we have socialist perspective of state right socialist may be bahut hai neo marxist classical socialist right matlab the early socialist marxist neo marxist neo marxist so within marxism wait let me write clearly so liberal mein hamare char hai classical liberal modern liberal neo liberal and social liberal like john rawls amartya sen right if you look at the socialist socialist then you have early socialist then you have marx and engel and then you have you know uh of course orthodox marxist is same ajayega new marxist understanding of state so there are different understanding of state in socialist perspective now apart from socialist perspective you know there are gandhi right gandhian perspective of state with new liberal ke baad kya padhana tha yeah the post colonial state right then a state in development society a state in third world right how a state is in third world there is a concept called you know overdeveloped state there is a concept called you know a uh, monoparty state so a state in third world has of course there are different state right we will talk about camperador state you know uh, uh overdeveloped state then one is called uh, you know bonaparte state so in third world there are different understanding of state that we will talk about right and then there is a feminist state there is a feminist perspective of state feminist has their own understanding of state and after that there is one concept called deep state right ha huh. post modern state yeah post modern state post modern state and then we call deep state so here you can see there are multiple variety of state multiple theory of state that we will talk about fine बहुत ज्यादा है वाई क्यों बहुत ज्यादा है क्योंकि स्टेट हैज बिकम अ सेंट्रल थीम ऑफ मेनी फिलोसोफर हु डिफाइंड नेचर ऑफ स्टेट 
who try to understand a state right it's a structure functions nature behavior characteristics and so on and so forth so theory will be start on monday yes i agree with savinder i agree with you that we will start theory of state in the next class today just we talked about what is meaning of state and what is the origin of state right many things that you know and many things that you will know please read the text which i have given to you about theory of state jahan se bhi text padhna hai padhiye right i uh, can't be there online class tomorrow no anupama tomorrow there will be no class there will be test attempt test tomorrow and uh, from the next week there will be class on saturday too theek okay? hai today we are taking class despite of the fact everything is closed right so jo text i have given you whatever the text i have given you theory of state there are 15 concept all around so read that acche se padhiye samajh ke padhiye bar bar padhiye ko yaad rahega aur ek maza dega it will give you a lots of enjoyment when you understand different theory and especially when you attempt test and you find yes i have answered well then you get satisfaction nahi jab reward milta hai aapko acche number milte hai i'll check your paper anupama and will send back to you tomorrow right so i'll stop here and see you on monday mm-hmm.